So, okay, so hi everyone. This video is, if you can tell, it's going to be a pearl inspired makeup look. I think I nailed this pretty much. Um, yeah, stay tuned for this tutorial because I think it's my favorite thing I've ever done. And if you want to see more Drag Race tutorials, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Let's get into this. Okay, so since we're doing the pearl makeup look, the well, first thing we want to do is etch out where our crease is going to be because pearl has a crease that comes right off her nose contour. So my nose contour is coming right here, so we want to make the crease right there. So I'm going to take this flat brush. It's from Costco. It looks like that. You know what I'm taking. And I'm going to take Blackout from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and I'm just going to draw this kind of coming out of my nose contour. So like about right there and I kind of want to look down on it so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better and it's more straight and flat than anything so just kind of etching it in a little etching what a word to use um the most important part about this is this crease so, good luck and don't fuck it up. <laughs> I think that was the most appropriate use of that saying I've ever used. So, now that we have that gross line etched in, I'm just going to blend it out with a pencil brush that has black on it. It's from Costco as well. I'm sorry, I didn't silence my phone. Well, shit. That never happens. What an idiot. Alright, back to the regular scheduled programming. I'm going to put a little bit of black out on here and blend this out a tiny bit. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Our bodies are swaying, the music is playing, you know what I'm saying? God, what's that from? I think it's from Making Noise and Fit Playlist. And then I'm going to take the MAC 217 blending brush with T's from the Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to blend on this a little bit more. Just to get the line more blended up here. You see where I am? See what I'm talking about? And we want to blend it so much into that contour. This brush is kind of like making it muddy. I don't like that. Um, whoa, sorry I'm out of frame. And then I don't like the way this makes it look kind of blue. You know what I'm saying? You know when you mix kind of a nude or a white and a black together, it looks almost grayish. Yeah, I don't like that. So we're going to fix that in a second. But first we want to make sure our eye shape is even, and I think I did a pretty damn good job with that one. So, to fix that magic line problem we're having, I'm going to take Cap on D's Tattoo Liner, and I'm just going to draw the line as straight as I can get it underneath where I drew it in blackout. So, here we go. This is the scariest part of the tutorial. If you fuck it up, um, you're going to die. You'll no longer be as perfect as Pearl and you're screwed so good luck don't fuck it up how many times are you going to say that in this video um that's probably not the last time so be prepared for more and i kind of want to fling this out a little meat see how i did that now i'm going to take the flat brush from costco again i'm just going to blend with blackout and make that look not like a line of liquid eyeliner like a crease if that's possible I'm sorry I keep leaning out of the frame I have this problem often bam bam this line is looking pretty dang snazzy man mon and I'm just gonna blend it again with this so blend your shit so you don't look like an ass. Thumbs up if you get the joke. An ass. It's, people will get it. A couple of you. People that are my friend will get it. So shout out to my friends that watch these videos because, you know, that's really nice of you and you're my friend in the IRL and the URL and like, who doesn't like those people? Oh, I'm taking white the taco from sugar pill by the way and going underneath that line because I want it to be smooth like a baby's butt so let's fix that crap and I'm also gonna go you know 
under here and blend that part of my eye that creases because I have wrinkles and I'm 17 years old. This is what happens when you don't take your makeup off before you go to bed for two years. You get wrinkles at 17. I know, right? Didn't think it was possible? It fucking is, and it's not fun. Um, oh, I'm going to take my blending brush again. I don't know why I'm hesitating. And I'm going to take teas, more teas. Gotta love the teas. And get more brown in the hood. Life is good up in my hood. I think that's, like, they don't look as brown as the other one. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Just kidding, I know what I'm doing, trust me. We're going to look like Pearl by the end of this video. And you're going to cry because Pearl's the hottest person in the entire world. I'm not even kidding. I think she's so hot. Okay. So now, since we've done all that magic, we're going to take just my black Makeup Forever eyeliner. I'm sorry, I'm getting really close. I'm picking up shit. It's just the Aqua Eyes one. And I'm going to fill in my lid. Watch how I do this. So I'm just going to take this and just draw some shit. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. We're drawing. Oh, yeah. And Pearl has, like... Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm slouching. This is my problem. Pearl has... A crease. Not crease. A inner corner that comes out. And it's... Gonna kill you because it's so fucking sharp. Okay, so now that we've done that magic jazz, we're going to take, you know, the tattoo liner that we swear by, by Holy Grail, because it's, you know, everything. I have an eye booker. Which eye is which? When you look into the viewfinder and you forget which eye is which eye. Problems. My problems. So we're going to take the Kat Von D tattoo liner, and we're going to draw that, you know, magic that Pearl has. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. Here we go. Ooh. Sorry you can hear my dad uh, cooking in the kitchen, but you know, girls gotta eat and dad's gotta cook. Because someone's doing makeup. It's gotta be someone cooking. It, dad. Now we're gonna wing it out on the end, so I'm just going where I usually wing and we're doing that jazz I don't like the way this feels against pencil liner I don't know it just doesn't feel right just making sure it's super like dark and like you don't look like an anus Unless you want to look like an anus, then that's your preference, but, like, I don't. Um, this is very black swan. I just thought of that. Shit. Ugh, look at that. I don't like that. We're going to put black over it. Oh, sorry. Now that we've done that jazz, we filled in all the black, we want to make sure our inners are even, and they almost are, so that's a blessing. Bam! I felt very, um, Alexis Mateo saying that, so I hope you enjoyed me saying bam. Um, that's the end of this video, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take, you know, that 239 brush I always put on taco with, because, you know, it's just white. And I'm going to fix the little problems. So if you can't already tell by seeing my other eye and spoiling the fun, I'm going to take glitter and fill in that part that we just put white. And I think her whole basis of her look is this glitter. I love it. I love glitter. If you're not into glitter, you don't have to do this part. You could leave it like this. But I think it's kind of harsh, and the glitter adds some fun and some love. Because who doesn't want their eyeballs to say love? 
an idiot. That's right, an idiot. You heard it here, kids. Um, so basically we're just going to take, you know, that LA Splash glue I use for glitter and we're going to fill in very carefully this white area and underneath our eye right here. And we're going to put glitter in it. So I might just cut this out. So if you don't see much more, then it's gone. Okay, so this is like the finished eye look. I contour my nose super skinny. I have a fake septum ring in. And as you can tell on the show, yep, there goes my septum ring into my boobs. Um, if you can't tell on the show, Pearl has like black around her nose. So I tried to like emulate how her nose shape is. I think I got it pretty good. And then I added the little mole that she had on the last episode of Drag Race. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to add the lips. Okay, so Pearl draws her lips like a giant circle, so I'm going to try and do them as much like that as I can without wanting to punch myself in the face because they're giant circles. So, let's try that. I'm using this lipstick from CoverGirl, actually. It's called Spellbound. And it's just pink, and it's pretty... Actually, can you see that? Here, I'll swatch it on my hand. That it it's kind of purpley pink and it's kind of emulant of what she wore in the last episode. I wanted to wear candy yum yum lipstick. It would be perfect for this look, but I can't find it. I have no idea where it is. It's one of my purses. I'll find it eventually. So let's do this. <laughs> this is so scary. Um, I think the weirdest part about this look is the nostrils. Um, you don't have to do them if you're gonna do this look, but I don't know. I think they. I think they can it, especially if you pop your septum ring in without it falling out your nose halfway through talking. There's always that, so let me do that. I'm gonna lay it on the screen. Don't want to see me stick things in my nose. Oh, you can see me. Oh, pearl. I'm gonna put a wig on and figure the septum thing out and show you what my finished pearl look is. Okay. <laughs> so I think this concludes my pearl tutorial. Um, to be more pearl, some tips are look like this half the time. Like your eyes are really closed. I think it really adds to the look. Um, in conclusion, this video I think is my favorite thing I've done. Um, if you like this video, please leave me a comment down below and tell me if you liked it. If you want to see more Drag Race inspired tutorials, um, check that out. And Watch my review that I posted on Wednesday. Every Wednesday I post reviews of RuPaul's Drag Race. And, yeah, you can hear more about how much I love Pearl and, you know, all of that. So, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I put more videos up. As you've heard, I put a Wednesday video up for a review. And I think that's all I have to say. Like my video, comment to my video, and subscribe to me. And if you want to check me out on the internet... Um, all my links are down below to my Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, AskFM if you want to ask me more questions. So yeah, do all that. So thank you guys for watching and sup.